Welcome back. It's still Plus Sports Special and Plus TV Africa. And uh, joining me right now is uh, Innocent Adulubba right here on the show. Uh, Innocent is a public relations professional uh, since 2006, a graduate of political science from the University of Lagos, an analyst who has an in-depth knowledge about the Nigerian Football League. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Doka. Mm. We would like to have your um, contribution of what we've talked about um, so far on um, the Plus Sports Special. Yes, listening from the side, I felt mm. very uh, freshly informed mm. from Doi and uh, from Steven. Steve. Uh, but I think um, it's common knowledge that uh, sports provides 3% of global trade. Mm. If you check mining and different aspects of economy, mm. if sports could get 3%, it's a huge chunk. Mm. We don't look at that 3 as just tiny. Yeah. And he has made mention of... Uh, uh, individuals who get, who rake in. Imagine somebody like Derek Ross as well. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you come to music, in Yanya here in Nigeria gets three hundred and fifty thousand dollars already. Mm -hmm. And from the law mentioned, the legal as is personal to Yanya. It's mm -hmm. personal to uh, Derek Ross. And uh, in Europe, it's a serious thing, mm -hmm. especially with regards to oh, breaches mm -hmm. of this rights. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody like uh, Oliver Kahn got as much as 3,000 euros mm. for a breach on his uh, uh, image right. Europe uh, deals with it. They have a standard for it. Mm. Sometimes with uh, continental European jurisprudence, it could lead to a loss of license mm -hmm. or some specific uh, sure. fee mm -hmm. uh, attached to it. And uh, it, like in Switzerland, there is a standard. It mm. comes with the range of 10 to 20,000 Swiss francs. Mm. You don't, uh, like Doi said before leaving, they said uh, say someone was pardoned. Mm. Uh, they, 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 they remorse. showed remorse. Mm. No, there, there are set down rules. When you breach the rules, these are the reward. Mm. I like using the word reward because <laughs> sanction is a reward. Mm. You did something, you got it's a tit for that. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a, so, the, the 10 to 20,000 uh, 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 Swiss francs France. are slated in clear picture. Mm. And with regards to uh, the uh, LMC, mm. let me overflow mm. into the MPFL per se. The way the rules are pliable mm. tells about the complexion of our uh, uh, organizability mm. and the mental makeup of the organizers, people pulling the string. strings. And why, like uh, Steve has hinted, people don't remain in the league. Mm. As soon as your highest goal scorer for this season, you are, about, you are you're well to, yeah, it's <laughs> happening. So, and the reason for that attraction, I conclude, is that there is efficacy, there's efficient rules. You just know your reward system is sacrosanct. Mm. If you do this, you get this. So you keep just dreaming there, dreaming mm. there. Let me do well for one season. And move. You know, and, and most times when these players get to move, we don't hear about them again. Remember the likes of M.M. Edward who left the shores of Nigeria and uh, we do not know where he's playing currently. We do not know. There's no update. He hasn't been invited to the national team. So for me, I feel like these players should remain in the MPFL and better the league than when they stay for two, three, four seasons, and hopefully the league gets to be watched uh, globally, then these players can have better deals, not going to countries that um, the football is not so great in as much as the money is good. But let's talk about um, employment law and the Nigerian Professional Football League. Just recently, um, our head coach, Gennard Raw, um, it's been rumored that he got a new contract from the NFF. And of course, uh, the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Amar Jupinik, said that um, the, the content of the contract and um, what will be binding Gennard Rowe will be very, very stiff uh, for Gennard Rowe. Will he accept this contract? Will he not accept this contract? But let's still tilt down to the Nigerian Professional Football League. I'll be asking Steve now, what are the express terms in players' contracts for the Nigerian Professional Football League? OK, thank you, Doka. Um, First of all, uh, we need to understand that the contract terms are stipulated mm. under the APFL. They are standard contracts, mm. which are appendices to the rules. Mm. I think it's in Form 7, where you have the terms of the contract. Mm. So those contract terms, they stipulate the minimal terms that every player and his club must agree on mm. for every particular contract. Now, you talk about duration. You must specify the duration of the contract. 
Now, the rules stipulates because of the, one of the um, spin-offs of the Bosman ruling, mm. it must not be less than three years. So they must give you a contract not less than three years. Three years. So the only exception is for minors players who are under 18 and players who ex-internationals who have played for over 10 years. Mm. So in, in, that, in that kind of situation, the minors can get a two-year contract, whereas the ex-internationals can get a three-month contract. Now, uh, it must stipulate the salary. What is mm. the basic salary that the player should be taking home yes. every month? Now we, are, we know, and this is an innovative approach the LMC has taken, whether mm. it is being effectively administered is a different question entirely. Mm -hmm. We have a basic minimum salary of 150,000 Naira for each player. Now there have been rumors of, of sharp practices by clubs because the LMC maintains a register of the contract of the, all the players in the league, mm -hmm. which you submit at the beginning of every season. football season. Yeah. Now, they, have, they keep these records, and part of the reasons for keeping these records is to ensure compliance with the rules. Mm. Now, we have, there have been reported cases of different versions of contracts entered into. You have a different version of contract entered into with the player, which the player has been made aware of. Yeah. That, oh, yes, I know the LMC says we'll pay you 150,000 Naira monthly. But what you are taking home every month is 80,000 Naira. Mm. Now, this is a player who has probably been um, trolloping the entire league structure in Nigeria, yeah. looking for a base to show his talent. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's a Hobson's choice. He doesn't have any choice. They say, okay, this is either take it or leave it. He accepts it. The LMC has a record of 150,000 or even more mm. in, their record, in their register. The player has a different contract arrangement. Mm. So these are the pitfalls that the LMC themselves need to really look into. Yeah. Then you have um, the issue of termination. What's, yeah. what 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 uh, is the length of notice, notice a player and the club can give each other when they want to terminate the contract. Mm. Now the instructive thing is that um, the LMC rules contains provisions incorporating provisions of the Labor Act mm. of Nigeria and the regulations on the status and, uh, and trans uh, regulations of players, yeah. the RSTP. Now, this, uh, the RSTP um, has, but I think it's Article 17 of the RSTP, mm -hmm. where it talks about uh, termination with just cause or for spotting just cause. Now, what that termination uh, has in mind, the, the brain, you know, the intention of that particular provision mm -hmm. is to ensure that the players, particularly players who have not been featuring often for the club, yeah. are not allowed to rot on the bench. Mm. So where a, a player fails to meet a certain percentage of appearances for the club, the club, FIFA, allows the player or the club to let the player go, go. for that particular reason. Mm. When you have been injured for maybe 12 months or more consecutively, without the club can pay, be paying you salary. But probably in the 15th month or so, they can quietly disengage you and terminate the contract. <laughs> no, these mm. are the express provisions. There are yeah. also other implied terms, mm. which maybe for time, maybe we'll look we'll at some other time. Now, looking at um, what the framework says about a contract of employment and registration, it says no club shall employ any person as a manager or coach unless the terms of the manager's coach employment is in a written contract or of employment between the club and the manager of, or coach. And the manager's or coach contract of employment has been registered with the league, that's talking about the Nigerian Professional Football League, and content of contract of employment. Uh, it includes the, relev the relevant standard clauses set out in these rules, and it clearly set out the circumstances in which the contract of employment will be determined by either party. Now, we are not supposed to see what is in the contract of these players or these coaches. Now, Ganaro came out some weeks back to, it was, it was quoted that he said that he was being owed a certain amount of money. Now, the NFF came out to say that, no, you're wrong. We're not owing you this money. This is how much we're owing you. And for that, we will not renew your contract. Rumors had it that it was going to be let go off. Now, we're hearing that he'll be given a new contract, but the terms and conditions do not favor Ganaro. What will be your response to, to that? Well, I think uh, Gennard Raw is a very lucky coach. Mm. Yes, um, uh, in the wake of the l recent uh, Nations Cup, there was a, an avalanche of sack mm -hmm. across Africa. Mm -hmm. very, I found that appreciable and tidy. I thought African 
they show us love to dilly dally. <laughs> but I mean, we were all, it's, it's, it's a global thing. Yeah. In, inside three weeks, over 10 coaches Correct. have lost their jobs, mm. including that uh, the reverse uh, They began with uh, Have a Renard have a Renard of Morocco. Renard. Morocco. Yes. That uh, princely guy, let me use that word, <laughs> who I, had to jump across, across the continent mm. to Dubai or UAE or okay. somewhere. You know, so Gennard Raw is lucky he's still here. Mm. And I think presently, mm. I don't know if uh, this is foreboding news, mm. He, he will continue to suffer like this mm. because you came somewhere, you are a choice bride, you passed your prime, and then now you are overstaying your welcome. Mm. So I see it. So um, if Gennaro survived that sack, so to speak, mm -hmm. he, his job is now for me being seen as a favor or for granted mm. because uh, NFF and uh, possibly Amajupinik are back home. Amaju's mm. romance at CAF and uh, beyond. Yeah, Sin, ended, yes. uh, yeah, so he, he, he's, he's here now, mm -hmm. and there can be only one sheriff in town. Exactly. It's not a rival thing. It's not a rival between them, but it's who calls the shot, as mm -hmm. it were. So as it is, maybe in unspoken uh, body language, we are mm -hmm. close to seeing the exit of Gerard Ro. Ro. And so there must be a drama exactly. that provides the episodes mm -hmm. that gives it the befitting title to justify mm. his exit. So you don't so get I to you don't get to point yeah. fingers at, at the NFF for doing something wrong. But I feel like if this happens, it will affect the Super Eagles' performance in subsequent games. Now let's wrap up with um, the one that just broke um, some days ago. It's about Sam Sinsiasa's ban, who is facing the FIFA ban. And um, news has it that he came out on social media, even on the radio station, to solicit for funds. This is one man who has played for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, has scored goals for Nigeria, he has won trophies for Nigeria. Now he needs help. The question is, um, what are the procedure, procedural requirements and chances of success of um, Samson Siasa facing this ban now? I mean, for me, sentimentally, I'll ask, where, where are his friends? The people he played with during his time in the Super Eagles of Nigeria, what happened to um, the NFF supporting him on this FIFA issue? Why does he have to come out to solicit for funds for the public to help him solve this issue? Well, um, I want to make my analysis shown of all sentiments. Mm. Of course, I love Sasha, yeah. an accomplished footballer, celebrated athlete and everything. But um, let's just focus on the merits of mm. the matter. Now, what is the intention behind the FIFA Code of Ethics mm. or the FIFA Disciplinary Code? is to discourage as much as possible match fixing. Now, um, I, I, I look at it again from the point of view of precedent. We have a precedent of such a case in the case of Amos Adamu and FIFA. Mm. Amos Adamu was a member of the FIFA Executive Committee in 2010, as at the time he was allegedly involved in a match fixing, in a, in a bribery scandal with some undercover reporters from the London Standard Times mm -hmm. in the UK. Now, who had approached him and um, masquerading as a, representing a consortium of a US-based American company, mm. desirous of fast-tracking and facilitating the, the, the America's bid mm. for the 2022 20, World, World Cup. Cup. Mm. So he said, he said he accepted to receive bribe. Incidentally, that same Article 11 is what Siasia was charged with and convicted. Mm. Now, there's a time frame for instituting that, this appeal. Yeah. My fears for him is that that time has since lapsed. Lapsed, exactly. So for him to raise that money, probably what he can do is maybe take his chances in the regular courts, mm. like we've done with the case of Bozeman. They said you can't take football-related matters to court. Mm -hmm. No, that is no longer the law. The law is that particular provision is now qualified. Mm. There are instances where you can bring such issues to the regular courts. We mm. saw it in the case of uh, Petstein and uh, 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 ice skating union, yeah. where a lady and a, a, a skater brought an application in court and successfully challenged an award mm. issued by the Court of Arbitration for Sports. So probably mm. that is what CSIA can do at this mm. moment. Yeah. It is sad, but that is the system we have found ourselves. And, that is um, the system we'll probably on the grounds of fair, fair hearing, mm. because he said he, he, we never got the email. Yeah, that from the totally informed him of the proceedings. Okay. So, so, as we wrap up, let me give um, Innocent 30 seconds to talk about the Samson Siasia issue because we're oh. out of time. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, Steve Steve is very weak to Siasia. <laughs> he has hung him out to dry. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
we are not privy to the facts, but yeah. something says there is enmeshed. Mm. There is no denying that fact. Mm. Maybe we shouldn't even ask for people he played with. Anybody who don't the national colors is serving fatherland or mm. motherland. Mm. How much is something says there to raise? Mm. A huge sum of money. I would even want to mention, yeah. It's no, it's 50,000 50, 50, Swiss francs. There, there was one he was supposed to pay before the 50,000. Yes. But that, that was also if you counsel. look at 50,000 Swiss francs, mm. it's approximately 60,000 US dollars. Yes. Mm. So let me, let me generalize. For a rich country like Nigeria, should Samson Siasa be, be struggling? Not at all. You know, so, and should Samson Siasa really, really come to the fore? Mm. For, because this will, in law, sort of see him desperate okay. and mm. possibly be deficient mm. okay. for him. So I think, first thing first, um, very quickly now, first thing first, let's rescue him. Mm. And then let him go to court and let's hear what the verdict. But let it be seen that mm. we didn't abandon, abandon him. him. Exactly. Yes. We will not abandon Samson Siasa. He's our very own and we'll keep supporting him until we hear that uh, the case is a successful one and he's free from that ban. I'd like to thank you guys for making it to the studio today. Oh, thanks. My pleasure. Mm. Of course, on behalf of uh, Doin, who was here earlier, who talked about uh, image rights, and of course, uh, some other things concerning the Nigerian professional football league, we also say thank you to her as we wrap up the show this morning. Hope you enjoyed the package. I'm Doka Njoko. Do enjoy the rest of your weekend. <laughs>